I am concerned with us getting better no matter what that means. Uh, you know, somehow, though, the win's got to be in there. That'll do it for the Farm Bureau Insurance pregame show. We're almost set to get this thing underway. Will Tiemann and Gus Ganakis are standing by ready to bring you all the action. I'm Mike Kane, and I'll be back at halftime with scores, stats, and more. But next, it's Michigan State and IP Fort Wayne right here on the Spartan Network. We just weren't going to come out today, you know. Thank you, Paul. Play the game for the last room. My game. Steve, can you hear me? Are you going to throw it to me? No, you're taking it out of the brain. Oh, am, I, am I next now? Yes. Okay. Luck, One, two, Walter. three, four. Is this level okay? Yeah, sure. Sure, okay. I hear an echoey stuff. Huh? Hey, Rick. His mic's open. Rick. Hello, Rick. One, two, three, four. I don't hear One, two, three, four. Good evening. A pleasant good evening to everybody around the great state of Michigan and welcome to the Breslin Center in East Lansing where tonight in round one, the first game of the Coca-Cola Classic. And Gus, it's good to be home, i got to say that. Yeah, I mentioned it to Tom, it's great to get back to home after being on the road for four and a half games. But this Coke Classic has uh, got a better card than a lot of people think, Al. I mean, uh, will the uh, Lamar team, we just talked to Mike Dean, the former coach, the assistant coach, of, the former coach of Marquette's, former assistant coach here. And uh, whereas these teams, Maine and uh, IPFW and Lamar don't come in with lofty, uh, one and loss record, still they're credible ball club. One thing about this game tonight, Gus, I think it's going to be kind of a fun game with IPFW because they're a little bit down up front. They openly admit that they don't have a horse car underneath the ready to compete, especially with a 6 8 and 6 10 guy ready to come back in about a week. They both have fractured feet. That would make a big difference. The man in point guard who came in from Appalachian State, he is due back to play at the end of the semester, so their ball club will change a lot in the next several weeks. But on the other hand, as they come in, they play Toledo at Toledo. They took Stan Joplin's club to the wire, only lost that by nine. Almost got Florida International. Basically, they always play on the road. So I think the first glimpse you go, this can't be much of a game, but it would be a, a major upset in San Diego that the Spartans did not win. But I think this ball club might be a little, a little better than people think. Right, you shouldn't be looking beyond this team. They're, they're good enough. And particularly, they shoot well. Their team shooting percentage of 47, which is quite good. Now let's go to Eric go for our introduction of players. Presenting our colors this evening, the Army ROTC Pershing Rifles, commanded by James Ray. At this time, we invite you to stand and join us in the singing of our national anthem as played this evening by the Spartan Brass.
Thank you. Good evening. Welcome to the campus of Michigan State University and the Jack Breslin Student Event Center, home of the four-time Big Ten champion, Spartans of Michigan State University. Pleased this evening to welcome to the Coca-Cola Classic, Indiana University, Purdue University of Fort Wayne. Starting for IPFW, Frontline, 6'8 sophomore from Hamilton, Indiana, number five, John Watkins. For Michigan State on the front line, 6'8 junior from Southfield, Michigan, 25, Aloysius Anagonye. For the Macedons on the front line, 6'6 junior from Toledo, Ohio, zero, Jeremy King. For Michigan State on the front line, 6'9 junior from Bluffton, Indiana, 55, Adam Ballinger. Front line for IBMW, 6'10 junior from Gambio, West Africa, number 34, 34, Bolivar Jai. For Michigan State, front line. 6'6", six, 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 freshman from Indiana, Minnesota, 15, Allen Anderson. For the Mastodons, Matt Court, 6'2", junior from Freeport, Illinois, number three, D'Angelo Woodall. For Michigan State of the Matt Court, 6'4", freshman from Flint, Michigan, 23, Kelvin Gore. The Spartans of Michigan State University by Tom Izzo. There's your starting line at first down for us. 10 seconds for our network station to identify themselves. Well, one thing for sure, Gus, is the odds are this game will start and finish. There's no ice underneath this floor. Well, the basketball on ice we saw Wednesday, but uh, that won't happen here, no. Well, the ball club, I thought, made a lot of headway from the two games in New York, us up into the game with Virginia. There was a lot of progress made, but now it looks to me like a tough schedule to begin to pay off, so we'll find out how we do in this tournament. And, of course, another big test is coming up next Wednesday in Gainesville against Florida. Yeah, teams like to play uh, early season against at least a couple of teams that are uh, call them cupcakes or whatever you want but because it gives you an opportunity, particularly a young team, to gain some confidence in what the style of ball is that they're going to play and to feed off of each other. Michigan State didn't have the luxury of that this year because they were invited to participate in that preseason NIT. Well, the thing to watch now will be the shooting for Michigan State. If you count the last game at New York and the abbreviated game in Richmond, Virginia, Ballinger, Hill, and Taylor are only shooting about 15% from behind the arc, and those are the three main shooters out there. So hopefully some home cooking will help. As the Spartans get the tip, and Anderson will bring it across the timeline. So Marcus Taylor, top of the team, 2-0 Michigan State. It didn't take long to get on the board. Well, that's, that's well executed early offense there off the jump ball. Rice has the ball, gets it over to Watkins, just blocked by Anna Gagne, pulled out of the air by Ballinger, down comes Michigan State. Taylor to a breaking. Anna Gagne for a slam dunk two, and it's 4 0. And we play 30 seconds. IPFW's got to get hold of the game before it gets away from him. John Watkins out front, gives it off the pass, it goes over now to King. Right side of the elbow, pulls up 10, pops out, rebound Ballinger. Down it comes to Marcus Taylor. Outlet pass Anderson left side and leads Anagonde too hard. Pass picked off there by Jeremy King, and he will slow it up for IPFW. 
I find out a second attack, D'Angelo Woodall. Little six foot guard from Freeport, Illinois. Out of Watkins. Watkins around the horn to Woodall. Tries to go low post, left side underneath to Jai. We got a whistle little stop the action. The heart and soul of this offense for Fort Wayne's ball club is Nick Wise. He averages about 21 a game. He is it. He is their scoring attack. Inbounds pass will now come out to Whittle. They'll work the ball around. The Watkins now back to Wise for a trade. Got it. Three. If he's on, they got a chance. 4-3, Spartans by a point. Down court pass comes quickly to Torbert, and we got another whistle. Well, Michigan State doesn't want Weiss to be on. They don't want him to have a look like he just had a three-point range because he's very adept at making them. He hits 54% from behind the arc, so the transfer from Ball State knows how to play Division One basketball. With the ball by Anderson, drives the flank, tries to get it into the paint, and a guy that literally goes through his legs, picked up by Ballinger, who goes out of Taylor. That's an interesting pass, guys. Marcus Taylor out front. IPFW will go with their man defense, even though they're sort of mismatched underneath. Taylor runs right over the top of John Watkins. Yeah, Watkins uh, jumped out on uh, Marcus Taylor there in an effort to keep him from uh, moving off of that high post screen, but he was called for a block. State with the ball inside out of bounds. Second foul on IPFW. Shot taken from out front, Taylor, no good. Rebound, Anderson off the glass, won't go. Nice battle, but the rebound is won by King. He gets it out now to Woodall. Woodall down the paint, pulls up. Gets it out to Weiss, fires from the top of the key. Little force action, no good. Rebound, Anagonje. Out to Taylor, and the Spartans are across the timeline. Taylor kicks out. Left wing, Anderson, a little hard. That was going to be called against Michigan State. It's Adam Ballinger. Pushing off on uh, Watkins, so IPFW gets possession of the basketball. This pace is pretty fast. Spartans are get, trying to get some fast break opportunities. They, we haven't seen much of it this year, but they filled the lanes quite quickly in this game early. Second foul on Ballinger. IPW, they like to move the ball and shoot it. They're not changing their style to keep it close. They feel that's how they can win as they're driving hook shot in the paint. Nice drive for his first two, and now the inbounds pass is intercepted by Woodall. His shot is rejected by Ballinger. And it comes out to Marcus Taylor. See a little quickness here from the guys in Fort Wayne. Forward has it. On the right wing, independent goes down to Gagne. Trying to work it back out front for Trainer Ballinger. Woodall intercepts, takes it all the way off the glass, and all of a sudden, the Spartans find them stretching themselves, trailing 7 4. And IPFW looking pretty good as a Overall team. Five very active players. 16 and change to go. They'll rotate nine or ten before the game is over. Taylor out front. Out of Torbert. Down the paint. Pulls up. Nice kiss off the glass up and in. His first two. It's now 7-6. Spartans trailing IF, IPFW by a single point. Now it comes out to John Watkins. Get it over to Wise. Wise puts it on the ground. Off the floor, back to Watson for a long tray. No. Rebound comes out to Michigan State. Across the line is Taylor. Works it into paint out of Gagne, out of Ballinger for a three. Nope. Rebound pulled out there by Jeremy King and another whistle. That's a Calvin Torbert going for the offensive rebound after being screened out and over the pet back of the opponent. 13 foul against Michigan State. In the game now for IPFW is Matt Shepard. And sitting down will be Robocar Jai. And Brad Knoll, the coach's son, is in the ball game at guard. Chris Hill will check in for the first time for Michigan State. Sitting down will be Torbert. Knoll has it. Gets it out to Wise. Wise over there to King. Nice look from out front. A little bit hard, though. Rebound comes out the hill, he's on the deck. Ball flies loose, King has it, now it's taken from him. Taylor down to Wolf, who just come in for a slam dunk. And the Spartans have reclaimed the lead, eight to seven. Hold on quickly, first two for Adam Wolf. We got a whistle that's gonna stop all the action. The officials for the game tonight, Ted Valentine, Lamont Simpson, and Mike Conner. 
And we've got ourselves a timeout here at the Breslin Center. 15-49 remaining in the first half. Seeing a little bit, a little bit of a basketball game, maybe more than some people thought. As the Spartans lead it by a score of eight to seven, as you are listening to MSU basketball. One, two, three, four, five. Coach McCauley, the women's basketball team, will take on. How does it sound back to him? Sounds fine to him. Great. This is going to be fun. You know what the good news is? I'm hearing like garbly garble. Yeah, I hear everybody fine, but they. <clears throat> After every Spartan three-pointer, Kroger, a thumbs up for kids program, will donate $50 to benefit the St. Vincent Home for Children and the Coaches for Kids Foundation. Well, Gus, 8-7, Spartans leading IPFW by a point. And he's sub substituting now uh, Coach Knoll, four players, and keeping uh, only Weiss in the ball game, their high-scoring uh, frontline player. So we have Kenyon Henderson in. We mentioned Brad Knoll. Rick Wind is in. Gus mentioned Wise, there's four. Matt Shepard. There's your fifth. Coach Tom Izzo sends out Anderson, Taylor, Anagadje, Wolf, and Hill. This lineup seems to be the one. Anytime you have Hill and Wolf in the lineup at the same time, especially when there's Ballinger, Gus, that seems to be the most offensive, the, the most potent offensive lineup that Tom has been able to find so right, far this year. Wolf, Wolf and Hill are really instant offense. With the ball out front, Taylor. Now to Wolf, a jumper, left corner, got it! He's been in double figures all four games. Only Spartan that has done that. He's averaging 11.3 a contest. 10-7, Spartans. IPFW with the ball going right to left, Noel. In trouble underneath when he travels. He got by the defense out front, but he got stuck in the middle. Alan Anderson has the duty of guarding uh, Weiss, the high-scoring player for IPFW. He's doing a good job on him. He's got that one three-point shot, and since that shot, he hasn't had a good look. In the Virginia game, one of the top scorers for the Cavaliers, a guy named Chris Williams, who came into our game averaging over 20 a contest when they called it had no points. So the Spartans have been good this year at setting down the top score of each team as Anagadje has it in the paint, spin, shoots, and scores, but they wave it off because of a travel. So that'll turn it back over, and the score stays 10-7, Spartans. 14-15 remaining in the first half here from the President Center. First game of the Coca-Cola Spartan Classic. With the ball, trying to work it across the court. Another walk. Is Shepard, and with that, Jason Andreas will come in, and Agagne will sit down. Spartans will get it back, leading it by three. Nobody wants to talk about it, but one of the problems with a game like this, Gus, and you've been there, is telling your team that this isn't Syracuse, but th these players can play on the other team. With the ball, Wolf out front for a tray, way off the mark. Long rebound comes out to Noel. So Brad's on the run across the timeline for IPFW. He'll get it out to Wise and Trey from way downtown. No good. Loose ball. Taylor has it. Down court pass comes to Wolf. Right wing. Now to Hill. Hill in the paint. It goes to Andreas and it goes out of bounds. Pass to the touch too hard. Hard hands there. Calvin Torberg comes back in for Michigan State. Anderson will sit down. No brings it up. Pass it to Matt Shepard, top of the circle. 
Bounce gives it up. It goes over to Weiss for another tray. This was off. Rebound Hill up high for it. Out of Taylor across the timeline quickly. 10 7 still is the score. Spartans by three over IPFW. The end of man outfit from Fort Wayne is staying in their man defense. Whistle away from the action, Gus. Did you see it? No, I didn't see it. I was just thinking about the IPFW using man to man. You'd think that he'd be tempted to use zone because of the success Syracuse had against the Spartans and also Fresno State. But obviously, his fundamental style is the man to man, and, and it's a good one. He's very good defensively. Nick White sits down. And that inbounds pass to Wolf. He goes up underneath. They shot his block. People are on the deck. So we're going to go to the possession arrow on this one. And IPFW will get it. Well, the interesting philosophy, Gus, of Coach Knoll is he's trying to build a system and a program. He's not that concerned about winning as much as he is being competitive. Well, that's a good and plan. Teaching. Next year, there'll be a full-fledged Division I program. Out front, Jeremy King. King around the top of the circle, running the point right now. Works it over to Rick Wynn. Wynn looking. Cross-court pass goes over to Matt Shepard. Shepard now back to Knoll. Knoll's more of an assist man, not much of a score. Nice pass in the paint to Shepard. Back to Noel, head fake on Taylor. Kicks out and over to King. Jumper off the rim. Just beats the shot clock. Well, they got a good shot out of that. A lot of passes and cutting. They, they like to move the ball around in the perimeter. They don't use any kind of a post uh, attack right now. But they're very good at moving the basketball and themselves. We Timbo Gracchus comes in for the first time for Michigan State. And he gets Marcus ball. Taylor will take a break. If you can get ball motion and man motion, that's very effective against man to man defense. Nobody scored for a while. It's 10 7. Spartans lead. IPFW. Jump shot way in the corner. A little off the mark that time by Wynn, but the Dons get it back. Shot by Jai. No good. And they get this rebound. With our front is Jeremy King. King looking cross court. Nobody there. Boy, but this is all over him. Ties him up. Timmy Big Crack is, is a pesky defensive player, and it was exhibited there as Jeremy King got frustrated by the tightness to, with which uh, Timmy was guarding him and eventually fouled him while he was pivoting with the ball. 15th foul on IPFW. Chris Hill now run the point for Michigan State. Cross it goes left wing. The Wolf head fake takes it down the baseline, kicks it back out, and we got a whistle. Wolf stepped on the line. So it's still 10-7. 12-36 remaining in the first half. Well, both ball clubs got a little spurts, and it's been a dry spell for quite a while. Yeah, by both teams, 10-7, 12-36 remaining. Spartans trying to reduce the turnovers. They've had a few here, about four at least. Out front now is Rick Wynn. Wynn works the ball over to Henderson. Henderson bounce pass to Jai. Low post, left side, looking at Andreas. Tries to bank it. Pretty bad shot. Ricochets off the wall. Here comes Michigan State. A little bit off on that one. So Chris Hill will set the attack. It's still 10 7. Well, actually, somebody will score. Wolf out front. Now it goes over to Hill. Hill on the left side to Torbert. Double teamed in the circle. First shot from the floor coming this year from Andreas, and he scores it. Can you believe, Gus, that's the first shot he's taken from no. the field this year? Unbelievable. Shooting the thousand. Down comes IPFW. Jump shot from the corner by Henderson. It is no good. But the Dons get the rebound back. With the ball, Noel, left flank. Gives up the dribble. Now it goes back out front to Rick Wynn. Back to Noel for a trade. No. Andreas gets a rebound out to Chris Hill, quickly down the court. He takes it all the way in. His bank shot is no good. I think he got away with the charge. They called a travel instead. And we got ourselves a timeout in a very sluggish basketball game, but the Spartans are leading it by a score of 12 to 7. 11 20 remaining in the first half. Back with more in a moment on the Spartan Network.
No, this isn't the one. There's another army. What's my next one? Any idea why this sounds so good? No. It sounds like I'm in a underwater. You know what the good? You know what the good news is? Huh? I wonder how long it's been since they scored. Hey, uh, Matt. You don't know when they last, when they, what time it was when they scored, do you? But you sound okay. You, you sound good. You can hear. You sound. Sounds good to you. But aren't you coming through there? Oh, it's just me. Today's game has been brought to you part by Army Guard. For more information on going to college, Berkeley tuition free, contact your Michigan Army Guard at www.1800goguard.com. Well, Gus the Spartan zoomed out to a 4 0 lead. Then they fell behind 7 4. Got the lead back up to 12 7. Now they're holding uh, Indiana Purdue at Fort Wayne to 16.7% field goal shooting, 3 of 18. The Spartans are 6 of 12 for 50%. Seven turnovers already for Michigan State, five for IPFW. Well, Woodle has it. He runs the point now for IPFW. Got Nick Wise back in the ball game. Their firepower. He has it in the paint. Pulls up five feet right side. Air ball. Rebound pulled out of the air by Bogracus. Down comes Hill. Spartans won the run. Torbert right side of the elbow. Nothing there. Back out to Hill. Torbert gets it back. Now Hill. They're playing catch. 10:49 remaining in the first half. 12-7 Michigan State. Bogracus. Well, they got to get something going. Now get to they're playing Hill. against a zone here. Noel, Coach Noel changed his defense. Michigan State was in the zone also. Well, Gracchus tries the right wing. And he steps on the inbounds line, and that will turn it back over it's to eight, IPFW. That's the eighth turnover. Coach Isner was talking about turnovers today, how they hurt Michigan State. Not only lost the possession, but more the other team uh, has scored uh, at a high percentage on turnovers because the turnovers have occurred in the back court. But when the turnovers occur, occur like that last one where he stepped out of bounds on the baseline, there isn't a good chance that they're going to get it and go in for a touchdown. Six on the board. The Dons have it with the ball is Weiss. Now back to D'Angelo Woodall. Woodall down the paint, loses control, travels, and the Spartans will get it back. At clinic, this has not been so far, but the Spartans do lead at 12-7. Or 10.06 remaining in the first yeah, half. Plenty of turnovers on a part of both uh, teams. And we're going to learn this is not a bakery here, but both teams are playing. Both teams are playing good. Uh, good defense. There you go. Hill has it out to Marcus Taylor, who's come back in. Now to Ballinger. So Anaganje, Ballinger, and Taylor are back in the lineup for Tom Izzo, joined by Hill and Anderson. In the paint, Anaganje. He's double teamed. Blue ball is loose. It's on the floor. Possession arrow would go to the Dons. It's a 1-2-2 zone defense employed by the Dons against Michigan State at, at the, after that last timeout. Let's see if Michigan State on the next possession is man-to-man. -man. They also converted to their 3-2 zone after the timeout. But that might have been just for the one possession. Anderson gets it into Ballinger. Now back out to Marcus Taylor. Left side of the elbow around the top of the key now. Gets it off to a cutting hill at the baseline. Back out front to Anderson, jump shot 10, beats the clock, but the shot is no good. Rebound, FP, IPF.
OFW. That's a weird thing to call a basketball team. Isn't it? Yeah, it sounds like alphabet soup. I know. And with that, a nice three-point shot by Rick Wynn. So it's 12-10. Spartans by two. They're shooting under 20%, but they only trail by two points. Hill tries a jumper. Right wing, about 12 feet, no good. And a Gagne power move to the basket on the rebound. The shot is blocked. And we've got a whistle. Tell you what, Doug Knoll, the coach of IPFW, is quite impressive at the NIA high level. Inbounds pass to Michigan State Anderson. His shot is blocked. He hits a deck, but the Spartans get it back. Now they're working around Orn back to Anderson. He'll try another power move on the baseline. This time he gets it. First two for Anderson. Now it's 14-10 in favor of Michigan State. 8.35 to go in this first half. Weiss out front. Now he gets it over to win. Spartans are man to man. Another, another turnover here by a uh, offensive foul. Somebody got the hook. It was uh, Woodall that committed the foul. Hill's going to take a break for Michigan State. Torborg Anderson and again Jay Ballinger and Marcus Taylor. Spartans going left to right, leading this one by. I thought it was 14 to 10. Now got a 14 to 6 in the scoreboard. Anaganje, power move to the basket, shot is no good. Ball comes all the way out the center court. Lee Bates tries to get it for the Dons. There's a scramble. He may have called timeout with possession of the basketball. And that's exactly what he did. By the way, today's game is being brought to you by the men and women of Operating Engineers Local 324. And the Michigan Construction Laborers and their union contractors. Also remember, Courtyard by Marriott, the official hotel of the Spartan Sports Network. Well, well the scoreboard shows 14 to 6. The defense of Michigan State so good that it subtracted four points in the total of uh, IPFW, but that's not the case. Something wrong with the scoreboard. Oh, correct it. It is being corrected now. Well, we all have our moments, don't we? IPFW will have the ball going right to left. Inbounds pass thrown in by John Watkins. Goes over to Lee Bates, who averages about three a game. Six foot guard from Milwaukee. Over to Wise now, the Watkins deep in the right wing. A lot of passing in the perimeter. As Watkins will take his shot, it's partially blocked from out top. Bats rebounds it, and it's knocked out of bounds off of him by I believe Taylor, Spartan should get it back. Boy, Alan Anderson is doing a fine job defensively on Weiss. You know, coaches like to find a, a player, particularly a freshman, that come in and be a defensive stopper. And it looks like Allen might be that in that mode. We got a timeout, 7.45 to go in the first half here from the Breslin Center. Barnes leading IPFW by a score of 14 to 10. As you are listening to MSU basketball. Understand, Will? Uh -huh. Wow, we slipped. We were shooting 50%. Uh -huh. <clears throat> 39. Where are we? Okay. 
7.45 to go in this first half of play from the Breslin Center. As Michigan State leads Indiana Purdue Fort Wayne 14 to 10. First game of the Golden Polo. Spartans. But that's the fewest points the Spartans have come up with in the first half so far this year with 23. Score less this half. Yeah, you know, their shooting percentage slipped since the last time out. They were 6 of 12, 50%. And now uh, they're uh, one out of the last six shots, and they dropped their shooting percentage to 39%. Only 18% for the uh, Dons, who trail only four points. They're hanging around. Taylor has it now to Ballinger. A little give and go on the right side of key. Nice pull up jump shot by Marcus Taylor for two. Dons and Taylor. Taylor's got four, Gus. The Dons have gone back to man-to-man -man now. The second time he's changed his defense after the timeout. Spartans Six. looks like they're staying in the man-to-man. 16-10 -man. lead is the biggest of six points for MSU so far in this half. Little give and go. A nice cut to the basket that time by Nick Wise. So for him, he has five, and it's now 16-12. And Ganya gets it from Michigan State. Low post left side. Out front it goes to Torbert. Down the paint. Big shot is good. Oh, nice touch off the glass. 6.55 remaining here in this first half of play from East Lansing. A long tray coming from way out front by Nick Wise, and he drains it. Nick Wise. And there's going to be a 30-second timeout call. Coach Izzo wants to talk about this. We'll be back with more in a moment right after this 30-second message. Whoever's on that one is slower than me. <laughs> Will, I'm going to have uh, Gregory again at half, okay. Brian Gregory. Give me that board card, Steve, and I can get that out of the way. We are back to action here at the Breslin Center. Barnes lead only by three over IPFW. With the ball, Marcus Taylor down the paint, pulls up, shot is blocked and knocked away by Matt Shepard. He drove right into him. Ball goes out of bounds and the Spartans will get it back. Adam Wolfel inbounds it. Gets it out to Taylor. Now to Torbert. Ballinger, top of the key, in the paint, and a Gagne as the ball stripped and a foul is called against the Dons. The ball went right between uh, Al's legs, didn't it? It, it, it? it went like a pass. It looked like he was passing to, to the man behind him, and the ball went between his legs, but it was, it was knocked out of his hands by the defensive player. That was on Watkins, his second. At the seventh against IPFW. Coming back in now for the Dons will be Bobakar Jai. Barton only have three team fouls this half. At the line, Anagagne. 69% free throw shooter this year. Came into this game having had at least one block in every contest. He's already got one in this one, so the string continues. Shots on the way, pops out. Rebound by Rick Wynn. And down come the Dons. With the ball out front, Woodall. So Woodall and Wynn will play a little pitch and catch and work it over to Nick Wise, who double dribbles. They've had a bundle of turnovers oh, here yeah. in the first half. That's at least the ninth. You figure with the turnovers in the fourth shooting and they're only down by three uh -huh. is a heck of a That's thing. Right. Yeah. 18-15, the Spartans lead it. 6-10 remaining in the first half. Pass goes low post, left side, Anna Gagne. Pass is too hard, it goes out of bounds. And IPFW will get it back. They're a team that likes to shoot three point shots. They average 22 attempts uh, from that area a game. I've already shot 10, 10 of them, made three. 41% of their shots coming into this game, Gus, were from behind the arc. And if they launch a three and make it, they'll tie the game on this trip. With the ball out front is Rick Wynn. Cross court, it goes to Woodall. Woodall being guarded by Tolbert. He's on the left side. Top of the circle for a tray. Up. 
No good by Wynn. A battle for the rebound is won by Marcus Taylor, and he's on the run across the timeline. Kicks it out. Torbort in the paint. Pulls up 10 feet. A whistle. The shot does not drop. Battle is going to be called against Jai for IPFW. Kelvin Torbert has that peculiarity in his uh, jump shot when he pulls up to shoot the jumper. He goes up and gets into the shooting form with his hands, but then on the way down, it's released, not at the top of the jump. Six of eight from the strap this season. Freshman Ames got it. Gives the Spartans a four-point lead, 19 to 15. Be sure to stay tuned for halftime as Mike Kamen will bring you our local neighborhood Ford dealers halftime report. Tolbert got them both. Spartans lead by five. Biggest lead in the game has been six. Out front right now is Rick Wynn. Wynn gets it over to Case. Around the horn it goes. Matt Shepard to Jai up the circle. Now back to Wynn. They're looking inside. Shepard back to Wynn. Bounce pass low post. In the right corner. Jai double team. Can't get anything going back. Out front comes to Wynn and now over to Woodall. Woodall underneath low post. Right side, Shepard, a tray coming from out front by Rick Wynn. No good. Rebound Hall, down court pass to Taylor. Taylor in the paint, kicks off Tobert. Won't take the open look. Goes inside, out the hill, now to Wolf, right corner. No. Rebound the Dons. Here comes IPFW, trailing by 5, 2015. 450 to go in this first half. Woodall gets it over now to Matt Shepard. Cross to Weiss for a trade. No. Rebound Adam Wolf. Out of Marcus Taylor across the timeline. Bounce pass over to Tolbert. In the paint. Eight feet. Oh, nice soft touch on the floating jumper. Eight points for Torbert. His career high is nine as the Dons bring it down and force up a shot and we have a whistle. That was going to be called against Michigan State. Well, the Dons are an offensive team that really do a lot of cutting movement, but not, but they don't screen. Not much screening going on, but the ball moves, the spacing is very good. They seem to get passing lanes, and they just keep moving the ball, moving themselves until they get a three-point shot attempt, really. They don't look inside for the pass much at all. That foul was on Hill. That is the fourth on Michigan State as a team. Inbounds pass comes to Shepard. The shot is blocked. It goes out of bounds. Who are they going to give it to? Looks like it's going to go to the IPFW team. It was interesting when we talked with Coach Noel yesterday. I asked him. I've never asked a coach this, Gus. I asked him, what do you call your team? He just call us IPFW. And mentioned from time to time or from Fort Wayne, which we will do. Three-point shot out front by Nick Weiss. A little bit short rebound the Spartans with the ball. In the corner for Trey, Chris Hill. His shot is way hard. Rebound, though, Michigan State. But Gracchus has it. Now to Marcus Taylor, a spinning jumper at the circle. Man, he won't go. Well, the shooting has not been very good for either team. Dons have a rebound. A little head fake coming from Henderson, the right wing. Takes it underneath, kicks it back out to Matt Shepard, but he wasn't looking for it. Ricochets off, comes to Taylor. And as Taylor comes down the court, he is grabbed by... D'Angelo Woodall. So that is the first foul on Woodall. That is the ninth team foul against the Dons. Spartans lead by seven here, 22-15. That's the largest spread that's been in this ball game. And it hasn't come easy. No. And Gagne will sit down. Andreas comes back in for Michigan State. Marcus Taylor at the line for the Spartans. Only shooting 43% from the free throw line, and he makes that one go, barely. Four out of eight right now for the season. The great thing about the early season stats, your percentages can drop a real jump real quick, Gus, with one make. 23-15. Pretty nice crowd here at the Breslin Center for this opening game. Second shot on the way, this one is short. Ball knocked around, and IPFW gets a rebound. Noel has it. Gets it over to Henderson and around Horner goes to Woodall. Woodall on the right wing, looking cross court. A bounce pass. High post, right side, Shepard in the jam. Gets it back out to King. Nice touch off the glass and in. 
23-17 Spartans. 3.20 remaining in this first half. And with that, a little floor checking going on our front between Taylor and Woodall, and the whistle blows. And it's going to be called against the junior from IPFW, his second. That is a 10-team foul against IPFW, and that will send Marcus Taylor back to the line. On your shoot two here. Second trip there for him. He was just there, made one out of two. Well, this place can get quack in it, Gus, when somebody's getting ready to make a free throw. Shots on the way. High arching shot is good. <laughs> Taylor has six points so far in this game. Comes in the top score for this team on the average at 11.8. Second one on the way. This one pops out. Rebound, though, Michigan State. Andreas gets it. He gets it out to Bogracus. And Taylor will set the attack for Michigan State. Leading this one 24-17. Hill in the paint. Goes by nicely by Brad Dole. Down the paint for the easy two. 26-17, Spartans. And now begin to distance themselves a little bit from IPFW. In the corner, King on the right flank. Looking inside, nothing there. Now start to dribble the ball. Looking, still looking. Cross court, it goes left wing. Over to Woodall. Now to Dole. Back to King. Little head fake in the paint. Nice driving shot, though. Won't drop for him. Henderson on the follow. No good. Wolf knocks it around. Finally picked out there by Bo Brackis. Now to Taylor. And then comes Michigan State. A little volleyball action there. The Wolf for a tray. Oh, nice shot. Whoa. And the South Paul was really three. shooting well. 29-17. A double-digit lead for Michigan State. 2-12 remaining in the first half. Out front now is Woodall. He's looking, being guarded by Hill. Got a whistle. A reach and foul, foul called five. against Chris, Chris Hill. Hill. Second, 15th foul. Second foul, 15th foul on Michigan State, and we have ourselves a timeout. 2.03 to go in the first half here in the first game of the Coca-Cola. And it's Michigan State 29 and IPFW 17 on the Spartan Network. One, two. It's the same. Except now I got a hump. So don't, let's go back the other way. I have a hum and, and gargle. Yeah, I got gargle. I got gargle. I think I got gargle. I don't know. Leave it. Put it down. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. I just got a big ass hum. But I got less gargle. But I still got gargle. This is cool. It didn't start out that way. It didn't start out that way. Am I on a cards? Gus. Hey, Gus, can you hear? Two oh three remaining here in the first half of play. It's Michigan State 29. Indiana Purdue, Fort Wayne, 17. The Dons have played well in this first half. Nobody shot particularly well, though. Of course, Mike King is coming up at halftime. You on some college activity from around the nation. IPFW has it. Out front, D'Angelo Woodall. Woodall gets it over to Rick Wynn. Wynn now goes over to Brad Knoll, coach's son. Cross court pass, Wynn. He drives the right flank on Wolf. And Adam Wolf got whistled. And with that, 
And Gagne will come back in for Michigan State. First foul on Wolf, and at the line will be Rick Wynn. 80% free throw shooter up there for a couple bricks this one. One more coming. Big out comes in. Who's going to sit down for Michigan State? Wolf will sit down. Adam Wolf has been the one constant offensively. He shot well in every game this year. 147 to go in the half. Second shot up and in by Rick Wynn. So that makes it 29 to 18. Barton's by 11. And Marcus Taylor will walk it across the timeline. Second game coming up, Maine and Lamar. Colbert goes over now to Taylor. Right side of the key. DFW went back to their zone. Pass goes right side over to Torbert. Shot from the wing. Nope. Rebound. Andreas, that won't go. And Agagne follows. Forget that. Ball comes out to Shepard, who dives into the press roll, saves it. And it comes out to Woodall, who bring it down for Dons. And a trade coming up for Noel, way off the mark. Ball goes out of bounds, and Michigan State will get it back. Brad Noel knows his way around a three-point shot. In the history of Michigan high school basketball, he can 234 of them. That is second all time on the list. So we're down to the 110 mark. 29 18, Michigan State. At the halftime break, Gus Kanak is going to be talking with associate head coach Brian Gregory. Chris Hill has it now for the Spartans of Taylor. Goes over to Tolbert. Low post, left side in again. Back to Marcus, down a hill, head fake. Drives the baseline, tries to get to Tolbert, throws it right through his hands. Marcus Taylor tries to save, and he goes sliding out of bounds with Woodall. Tom Izzo wants to know why there wasn't a whistle long before that. So who's going to get the ball as both players went out of bounds? Yes, sir. Third foul on Woodall. They called the foul against D'Angelo Woodall. That is his third. That's a tough call for the visiting Dons. We should be getting some shots, and we do. So Marcus Taylor walks the line. This will be his third time at the charity stripe in this game. 51 seconds remaining in the first half. Taylor is shooting two out of four so far in this game. Shots come and got it. Nice high arch the shot. Marcus Taylor, the Waverly High School product from Lansing, leads this ball club in assist and steals. Marcus has been a double figures. Three out of the four games. One more coming from the sophomore. Point guard gets them both. That makes it 30 to 18. Back in is Tim Bo Gracchus for Michigan State and sitting down is Chris Hill. 51 seconds ago, Spartans are opening up the biggest lead they've had in this half, but it's been fairly tight. But the last handful of minutes, the Spartans have been making the baskets and the Dons have been ice cold offensively. Brad Noll has a bounce pass, goes over to Nick Weiss. Weiss up front, gives an offer over to Henderson, now to Noll. Not much there. Out front for a long tray is Wynn. Off the front of the glass, but the long rebound comes out to Noll, and he is stripped. Outlet pass for the Spartans, comes to Torbert. Bank shot is no good. Rolls out. Rebound battle continues, and a whistle and a foul is going to be called against Tim Bogracus. First foul of Bogracus, going to walk the court. 18.5 seconds remaining in the first half. 31-18 Michigan State. Well, Rick Wynn shoots 80% coming in. One out of two so far. Makes that one, so he'll get one more. 31 to 19. This could well be the Spartans' biggest halftime lead. Depending on what happens in the last 18 and a half seconds. Second shot coming at them both. So the Spartans are up by 11 right now, 31 to 20. And Bo Krakis will sit down and Hill comes back in for the final 18 seconds. So it looks like Coach Izzo is playing a little offense defense here. Spartans will obviously play for the final shot. Shot clock is off. 15 seconds remaining in the half. With the ball now is Hill on the far side. Now to Taylor. 
Gets a pick from Andreas. Nothing there. Back to Hill for a tray. Way out front. No. Rebound won. That battle is won by Shepard. And that is how our half is going to end. 31 to 20 in favor of Michigan State. Well, Gus Kanakis is catching up now. The associate head coach, Brian Gregory, as the Spartans finally began to catch fire offensively. How do you, Gus? Okay, Brian, this has been a pesky team that you're playing against, but in the last five minutes, you're going to be able to get a nice daylight. Yeah, you know, uh, we're actually playing pretty darn good defense right now. This is the second straight game in the first half. We have opponents at 20 points or less. But at the same time, offensively, we've missed some shots we should have hit. We really wanted to get the ball into Al, and we did. He just hasn't done anything for us down there. He needs to have a big second half for us right now. Has a lot of motion with the ball and moving men, and they have done a very good defensive job. They they make it work. Yeah, they do. They're very well coached. They got 10, 11 guys that know the game. Indiana type players that shot fake can make shots. Very good motion team. They are testing our defense. Our young guys have done a pretty good job up until this point. We need to pick it up, get some fast break points, and finish some plays after we get the offensive rebound. Thank you, Brian. All good right. luck in the second half. Thanks. Thanks. Two students from section 222. Thanks, Gus, and thanks, Brian. So it's an 11 point, 31 20 halftime lead for Michigan State. On the flip side will be Mike Kamen on the Spartan Network. Welcome to your local neighborhood Ford dealers halftime report. Mike Kamen back here courtside at the Breslin Center, Michigan State. They had a 13-5 run over the last 6.44 of the first half. They lead IPFW by the score of 31 to 20. Thanks to Trippers for their support of Spartan basketball. Monday night at, Monday nights at seven, Trippers hosts the Tom Izzo Show. Trippers in Grand Ole Lansing, where good sports meet. More of your local neighborhood Ford dealers halftime report. We need to take a 30 second break. We'll have more of the local neighborhood Ford dealers halftime report right after this 30 second message. Breslin Center and your local neighborhood Ford dealers. Halftime report 31 20. Spartans lead the Dons of IPFW. Michigan State and IPFW a sluggish first half, to put it kindly. Michigan State led just 18 to 15 after a three point basket by Nick Wise at the 644 mark. Tom Izzo had seen it off, called a timeout, and since that point, Michigan State. Ran to the locker room on a 13 to 5 run. They lead it by the score of 31 20 in the first half. Michigan State 12 of 31 from the floor at 38.7%. Well, that's not good. 
Things could be worse. You could be IPFW. 7 of 34 from the floor at 20.6%. We'll have more of your local neighborhood Ford dealers halftime report when we continue. You're listening to MSU Basketball. So we have one contestant sitting in the last remaining chair. Here we go. We've got a three minute and a, and a 60 second. Okay. I need Paul Lett to do this when it's up there. I don't know anything about it. Look out. We're out that way. Yeah. I'll wait on that. Two in. Don't get hurt. We're going to do, we do a scoring update, a soaring eagle card. A little trouble down here. Here we go. 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 Here
three. One and two for four and three rebounds to go along the two points for Morocco. Seven minutes, no points for four rebounds for Morocco. Adam Dallas with a four and one for four and three rebounds, tampered by two early personal balls. For the first half, Michigan State, 12 of 31 for four and 38.7%. Just one of seven from behind the arc, 14.6 percent. They have made an effort to get it inside. Six of nine from the charity stretch at 66.7 percent. Nine assists and nine turnovers in the first half. They had six blocks and three steals. Michigan State 12 points to paint to six for IP FW. This is your local neighborhood sport dealer's halftime report. We'll come back. We'll check the out-of-town scoreboard after we take this break on the Spartan Network. This is your local neighborhood Ford dealers halftime report 3120 IPFW trails Michigan State at the half. Our halftime show is sponsored by your local neighborhood Ford dealers. Let's take a moment for an Army Guard scoring update. The only other game in action right now, Oakland and Akron. Oakland 42, Akron 34. Other games involving the Big Ten, Iowa and Alabama State tonight. Purdue and William and Mary. That's scoring update brought to you by the Army Guard. For more information, contact them at www.1800goguard. Com. Will and Gus have the second half. This is the local neighborhood Ford dealers. Halftime report. I'm Mike Kamen. Join me for the post game show. Second half straight ahead after this timeout on the Spartan Network.
an extra 30 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Will Teeman here filling in for George Blaha along with Gus Kanagas. I came to do a nice job there with the neighborhood 40 West halftime report. 31 20, Spartans by 11. Gus, these shooting percentages are unbelievable. Yeah, not the proficient shooting for sure. 38% for Michigan State, 38.7, and 20.6 uh, for the IPFW. Significant individual statistic is Marcus Taylor with six assists, no turnovers. And points off of turnovers, only five for the opposing team, and that's because the, the your front line or your backcourt people aren't making the turnovers. Barnes will open up with the ball. Going right to left, Marcus Taylor has it. Now to Ballinger, so it's Ballinger, Taylor, Hill, Anagagne, and Torbert. Anagagne in the paint. It's whistled for a travel. As IPFW comes out, showing zone to begin the second half. Al looked like he picked up a fumble in football and started running with it. Uh, they started uh, the Dons in a uh, zone again uh, here at the half. They're, they're offensively content on hitting those, shooting those three-point shots. They, they attempted 16 in the first half. Jeremy King has a little pick and roll, goes over to Nick Weiss. Shot is no good, rebound Ballinger. Nice look, though. Down court quickly comes Michigan State. Torbort tries to speed underneath the Anagagne ball, knocked away, but knocked to Chris Hill for a tray in the right corner. Chris Hill, assist Torbert. 34-20 Spartans, biggest lead of the evening for them. IPFW with the ball in the paint is Jeremy King. We have a whistle, and that's going to send him to the free throw line. Foul is called on Adam Ballinger, his third. Long way to go, 18.54 remaining for the big guy to pick up his third. Wolf may yeah, Wolf is coming in. They're gonna give they're gonna give Ballinger a break on that one. Apple line, Jeremy King, a 71% free throw shooter makes it. 34-23. Spartans. Halftime break was 31-20 MSU. Ballinger will sit down with the three fouls. Wolf comes back in. Wolf had a fine shooting first half. Marcus Taylor gets over the hill now, up front right side. The Don stay in the zone. In the paint it goes, Anna Gagne, a little fadeaway jumper. Left side, four or five feet, no. Rebound, Wolf, in traffic, he's fouled. Adam Ballinger finished with zero points in the uh, first half. He had uh, three rebounds, however. And he comes in, guys averaging 10 and a half a game. Yeah, he only took one shot. Well, the southpaw from Westerville, Ohio, takes aim. Got it. 6'9", 230 sophomore. Key for Michigan State in the second half is keep the Dons from getting good looks in the three-point area. They're, they still are good enough shooters from the perimeter to get back in the game. Wolf makes them both. Nine points on the evening so far. 36-23 Michigan State. IPFW with the ball, in the paint, spinning jumper, Jeremy King. Not good, rebound, Wolf, out to Taylor. Leads a bounce pass for a driving, Chris Hill. They're gonna count the basket, and we got a whistle. Well, that is well an executed fast break as the Spartans have had this year. The outlet went to Taylor. Taylor uh, saw the uh, opening to Chris Hill. He took a, 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 threw a long bounce pass in the hill in the right wing. Hill caught it on the run, took a one step and the uh, layup shot got fouled. The foul was on Weiss, his first. 
First trip to the line in this game for Chris Hill. Hill coming in a 70% free throw shooter. The freshman aims it, got it. Three point trip for him, 39-23 Spartans. IPFW comes down, Woodall has it. Looking at a bad defense by Michigan State. Now it goes over to Wise, Wise in the circle. Bounce pass in the corner to win a long tray, no. Rebound Anaganje, outlet pass to Taylor across the timeline. Taylor gives it up, high post over to Anaganya, and held in his hands it back to Marcus Taylor. 39-23 Spartans. Taylor, a lot pass deep in the corner of the hill, back to Taylor. Anaganya hands it back to Marcus, Marcus gets a pick, won't shoot. Bounce pass to Tolbert. Problem was the pass went left, Tolbert went right, out of bounds, turnover Michigan State. 17-39 remaining. Up next, it's Maine and Lamar. And the Spartans are 46 games in a row they won at home. Trying to make it 47. Low post, right side goes over now to Jai. He spin, shoots, air ball. Pulled out of there by Taylor. Across the timeline now. Hill in the right corner, back out front to Marcus. One bounce, looking to get rid of it. Does to Adam Wolf. Now back to Taylor. 16 point spread at the moment. And the zone has kind of stalled the Spartan attack. They get the ball into Tolbert. He goes towards the basket, but bounces the ball off his leg. Yeah, they're playing a 3 2 zone defense now, and they're really extending the defense. They're not worried about the ball going inside. Well, somehow the state gets it back. With the ball, Chris Hill now, top of the circle. Hill down the paint. The Torbort left wing, fadeaway jumper, about 12. Not quite there. Rebound, Jai down comes. IPFW. Woodall has it in the left wing. Bounce pass, low post, left side. It goes over to King. He works on Torbort. Nice move that time. Basket by zero, Jeremy King. Seven for King, 39-25 Spartans. Hill down the paint, off the glass. Oh, nice move by the freshman. Sometimes you gotta look to see that Chris Hill really is a freshman. Now he, he did that so smoothly, just glided in. 41-25, 16-14 to go in this one. Woodall has it, kicks out. Kicks out to Jeremy King deep in the left wing for a tray. So he's been good from short range and far range. Down comes MSU. A counter by Chris Hill with his three. 13 for Hill. Oh, Chris Hill's been an offensive machine in this half. Inside double outside. figures for the fourth time in five games. Gus, and we got ourselves a timeout. You know, a long time sponsor of Michigan State Athletics is State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You are listening to MSU Basketball. Hill, 11 points. You know when they go on the air? Call Wendy at home and ask her. What? 10.30. Ask her and see if she knows. Game Day broadcast is brought to you in part by the Bat Blue Light. Blue sky, sunlight, blue light. 44-28. No light to the bounds right now, Gus. Oh, Chris Hill has been uh, very hot here in the second half. He's got 11 points in the second half. He's uh, 4 of 4 in this stanza. 1 of 4 in the first half. Two of his 11 uh, the points. And it has 
Two, he has two three-point uh, shots made. And he's done it uh, from the outside and the inside. He's taken the ball off the wing on a fast break. He's been able to penetrate for a basket. And he's got his three-point shots. Marcus Taylor Anaganje, Wolf Ballinger Hill. A five for Tom Izzo. Spartan shooting about 43.2% uh, right now. That's about what their season average is. With the ball in the left corner right now is Wynn. Gets it back out front to Shepard. Now over to John Watkins. Watkins to Woodall. Trying to get something closer than what they have been doing. Little give and go for a tray for Nick Rice. No good. Rebound Taylor and he's on the run for Michigan State. Outlet pass, Wolf jumper. Left side, right through. Oh, 13 feet. Marcus Taylor is a good defensive Taylor. rebounder. He has four in this game. And has done well in the previous game on the defensive board. Watkins has it now for IPFW. They're working around the horn and they give it to Woodall who drives the lane. He is knocked down and we got a whistle. 46-28. Spartans lead it. 15-03 to go. This was a very tight game up until about five minutes remaining in the first half. And the Spartans opened up some daylight. Had an 11-point lead at half. Now... Has an 18 point lead. The foul was caught on Chris Hill. That is his third. At the line for a couple is Woodall. First shot's good. Only three points for Woodall. His first trip to the free throw line in this game. So Chris Hill will sit down with those three fouls. Back in now is Alan Anderson. So one freshman sits down, another comes back in. One more cover for Woodall. Got them both. And with that, we got ourselves a timeout. 15.03 to go in this game. It's now Michigan State 46 and IPFW 30 on the Spartan Network. Yeah, I, gotta, I have to give her one. So what we do is we got to take that crowd mic or some mic. Where the heck to go? Okay, I'm going to give her that one. Okay, she's going to plug that into a malt box. Uh, well, you probably got to go set it up. Sure. Why? I can't do it. Real team in here with Gus Kanakis. By the way, Great Lakes Golf Magazine calls the restaurant at Thousand Oaks the best golf course restaurant in the Midwest. The restaurant at Thousand Oaks is open year-round to the public, only 10 minutes from downtown Grand Rapids. Simply call 616-447-7750 or visit them on the web at thousandoaksgolf.com. Well, Will, uh, Marcus Taylor is on his way to a possible double-double here in this ball game. He has eight points and also eight assists. In addition to that, he has five rebounds all on the defensive uh, end. Chris Hill goes out of the game with those 13 points, 11 of them here in the first half. I mean, in the second half, he had one uh, basket in the first half. Ballinger, Anaganje, Wolf, Taylor. Anderson, the five for Tom Izzo and the Spartans. Spartans going right to left in this game. This half, 46-30, 16-point Spartan lead. Wolf has a little give and go. Taylor out front trying to direct traffic yeah. and does. Going to get to man-to-man -man now. Top of the circle, bounce pass in the paint. And again, yeah, works hard on Shepard. Oh, reverse slam dunk. Oh, nice power move by the big guy. Yeah, he went from one side of the basket and the rim to the other side to make the dunk two-handed. Good move. Four for Big Al on this one, and with that, Wolf Pittsburgh pickpockets Matt Shepard from behind. Down comes Michigan State. Anderson, oh, a floating jumper rolls in. He goes down the lane and makes it stay. 
is a 20-point lead for Michigan State, 30 to 50. And down comes IPFW quickly for an easy layup by Rick Wynn with 14 to go in this game. Well, the shots are coming in this second half, Gus. Yeah, the Spartans took a nap on transition defense on that last possession for the IPFW team. to got a layup at the other end. And again, you double team low post right side. Back to both down to Ballinger, top of the key. You hand it off to Marcus Taylor, gets him a pick. Taylor. Now to Anderson, a jumper, about 15 left side, no good. Rebound, Anagagne, back to Taylor for a tray out front, pops out. But Wolf will get the rebound. He goes to the basket, the ball is knocked away. Recovered though, put back up and in by Anderson. Nice touch off the glass. 52-32, back to that 20 point lead for Michigan State. IPFW brings it down. Program trying to go to Division One. Only 10 home games in this ball club have this year. The worst beating they've had so far on the road has been 13 at Wright State. Now with the ball. In traffic is Weiss. Been silent for the most part. Now to know for a long tray back off the iron. And nobody under the basket but Ballinger. Well, there was some good screening done by the Spartans there. Wolf, Taylor, and Ballinger. Taylor, top of the circle. 52-32 Spartans. Anderson bounce pass, low post. Right side, Anagania, cross court to the left corner to Wolford, nothing but that. A long two. The Spartans didn't shoot very well in the first half. They're burning it up here. 54-32. Nice ball movement. The Dons have it. Interior pass goes underneath to Matt Shepard. Nice pass that time by Rick Wind, but a foul is called against Michigan State. Well, the Don's getting that winded look. Nick Weiss, who's such a good three-point shooter, Gus, has absolutely been stymied by the Spartans. They can't even get the ball to him. That's exactly right. And then when he does get it, he doesn't have that three-point opportunity. That's the way they were going to get back in the game in the second half. But the Spartans, of course, prepared for that and cautioned the, the team to make sure they close up on any shooter that has the ability to hit the three-point shot. Shepard makes the first one count. That foul, by the way, was on Ballinger, his fourth. So he's in danger of fouling out with 12-22 remaining. Only one Spartan is fouled out in the game this season. That is Marcus Taylor. So we got some wholesale substitutions here for Tom Izzo. Yep, it looks like Chris Hill is going to direct the attack. Alan Anderson's in there. Torbert, so those are the three freshmen with Andreas and Anagagne. Shepard, a native of Nuevo, Michigan. Went to Hope College. Transferred to Muskegon Community College and now to IPFW, and he missed the second shot. So down comes MSU. High post, right side, Anagano. He's working on Shepard. Spin, shoots, and he's fouled. Man, that shot was sort of off the mark. IPFW foul, 33 shots. 12 13 to go. Coming in now for the Dons is. Baba Karjai, and sitting down will be Matt Shepard. No Bobo shot on that foul, by the way. Inbounds pass to Anaganje. Now to Chris Hill running the point, as Gus told you. Anderson drives the baseline, reverse layup. Won't go, but we've got a whistle. Nice move that time by Anderson. A lot of, a lot of talk about this club not having the quickness of past teams. But for some reason, the quickness seems to be reappearing gradually, Gus. Yeah, the t this team need to gain some confidence in their individual ability, confidence in what they're being taught, and confidence in their teammates. And you do see some penetration, successful penetration on the part of perimeter players in this game, and also the outside shots are starting to drop. Anderson takes his first free throw and sticks it in. Seven points on the evening. He makes this one, he'll tie a career high. He does, he has eight. So for the third time in his young Spartan career, the freshman has had eight points in the game. Down comes IPFW trailing 56-33. In the corner, D'Angelo Woodall. Out front it goes to win for a big time three. Pops out. Torbert rebounds. Spartans are on the run, Hill has it. Out of Torbert, takes it into the paint, pulls up, ball knocked away. 
And picked out of the air by Woodall. He'll bring it down quick. Kicks out. Over to King. King in the paint. Nice move to the glass and it's in. Jeremy King has been playing some basketball in the second half of the Dons. Spartans down quickly and Aganje in the paint. Forces up a shot. Knocked away. He's fouled. Fourth. Fifteen foul. Jai. Fourth foul on Jai. Fifteenth foul on IPFW. So Anagania at the line for a pair. Six A junior out of Southfield, Michigan takes aim. Nice soft touch rings the rim and drops through. One more coming. And Agagne sitting with five points so far on this evening. Second shot coming. Got them both. So with that, we have ourselves a timeout. But time in to talk about AAA Travel. A proud sponsor and the official travel agency of the Spartan Sports Network and Michigan's largest full-service travel agency. Let their experienced agents turn your dream vacation into reality. 11.29 to go. Spartans 58. IPFW 35 on the Spartan Network. Is that your lucky lotto team or something? <laughs> to go on this one. Spartans are in control. 58-35 over IPFW. Indiana, Purdue, Fort Wayne. The Master Downs. They have the ball. Gunnarsson has it. Now it goes out front to win and around the horn. Over to King. Gunnarsson hasn't shot much in this game in the circle. Kicks out to Watkins. Nice jumper from the left side. Exit 58-37, Michigan State. Barton's down quick, and we got to travel as Tober was making a beeline to the basket. Bring out the dribble on the way. Marcus Taylor comes back in for the Spartans. Anderson will sit down. Marcus Taylor uh, picked up his uh, ninth assist before he went to the uh, bench, and he's got eight points, so good opportunity for him to get double-double. It'll be the first this year for Spartan, wouldn't it? Oh, nice move to the basket that time. A little bank shot off the glass by Keon Henderson. 58-39 Spartans. Taylor has it. Left side of the elbow. Double team. Now the ball bounces off his foot. Out of bounds, and the Dons will get it back. Nice defense that time by Jeremy King. Forty-six straight home wins for Michigan State. This will be 47, longest streak in the land. And for IPFW, pretty nice showing for the most part. Pass goes into the paint to John Watkins, who spins and shoots from about eight feet. He's fouled. He'll be shooting the pair. 
Tim is, uh, foul is caught on Tim Bograk as his second. Fourth team foul against Michigan State. Before the big, next, uh, the big 10 season starts, as far as home games remaining, will be, of course, game tomorrow between the winner of Lamar and Maine in this Colt Classic. Then Nickel State comes in here. Arizona comes in. University of North Carolina, Asheville, Oakland, Seton Hall. And the next home game after Seton Hall would be the Minnesota, not Minnesota, would be uh, Wisconsin on the 12th. Well, John Watkins makes them both for IPFW. Makes it 58 41. Taylor across the timeline for Michigan State. Gets over to Bogracus, who drives the, he drives the baseline right side for his first Spartan basket. Yeah, that's Timmy's first basket. Nice move. Sure was. Underneath, out of control, Henderson tries to drive the baseline, spins. We got a whistle. The Dons tried to two-time uh, with their wing man in the side that time and got the ball to the corner to Timmy Bukrakis. He made a nice baseline move on the man, made the drive-in shot. IPFW keeps the ball. Out front now, Woodall. Woodall gets it off to Wise. Wise has his shot from the right side blocked by Torbert. And we saw it during that Virginia game, the first steps of how he really can jump. He can leap when he wants to. IPFW maintains possession. They got 15 seconds on the shot clock. Out front is Jeremy King. Has the ball to Woodall. Nice pass into the paint to Henderson. Henderson's tied up, but he still gets it up. Nice bank shot up and in. This is an interesting lineup the Spartans have got, got in here. You really, there's four perimeter players and Wolf. No, Hill, no center. Hill has the ball out front, and he's out. He is fouled. We got Bukrakis, Taylor, Hill, and Torbert. And then Adam Wolf. Foul is called on Woodall, and that is the 16th foul against IPFW. Back into the ball game for the Knowles is Brad Knoll. I should say for the Downs. Coach by Coach Noel. As Marcus Taylor hits for a try up front. Makes it 63 to 43 to get a 20 point lead. Watkins works the ball around the horn. To Anderson. Low post over to King, a jumper left side. With this lineup the Spartans have there, well, it looks like Torbert would be the power forward and Wolf would be the five man. Or Postman, let's see how they align in the uh, in the next possession as far as their half court offensive set will be. At the line of shooter pair will be Jeremy King. First shot is good. Well, the Spartans have gotten to that 20 point ball, and that's about where the game has stayed for a while. So Krakis who gets his first spike the bucket. Will sit down. Anderson comes back to Michigan State. 9.21 to go. 63-44. MSU. One more for King. This one hits the rim and drops through. 14 points for King. He opened the season with 22 against Moorhead. And then the next three road games, he's only good for 11, so he's come on pretty good in this one. Wolf has it. Low post, left side, forces up a shot, no good. Rebound. Watkins will kick it out to Brad Dole. Dole over to Wise, now to Watkins. Watkins in the paint, nice move, and the shot is blocked by Anderson. Wolf comes out of there with a rebound, and he is fouled from behind by Henderson. Spartans have a few blocked shots in this game. That would be the seventh. And Agagne with three. Foul was on Henderson, his first. Seventh team foul against the Dons. At the line will be Adam Wolf. This will be his third attempt on the evening. He's two out of two. The southpaw fires, make it. Oops, popped out. Thought it was going to go, and it did not. Ball knocked out of bounds, and it appears the Spartans will get it back. Nobody around the ball, but 
players from IPFW. They knocked it out of bounds. So Marcus Taylor will inbounds it. The Torbert left side now goes over to Anderson. Back to Taylor. Taylor being guarded by Dole. Still working on him. Pulls up for a tray. No. Rebound battle between Henderson and Wolf. And possession arrow will go towards IPFW. 63-45 Spartans. 8.42 to go. Up next, Lamar and Maine. Out front, John Watkins. Now gets it over to Henderson. Brown Horner goes to Noel on the left side. They're trying to get the ball inside and do to King. King working on Wolf. Shot is rejected by Torbert. And man, oh man, King doesn't like the call. I think he wanted goaltending. Yeah, they wanted goaltending. He got fouled, but they wanted goaltending. But I think that was a clean block, and apparently the officials did. You know, you think, speaking of block shots, you recall the Fresno State game. The Spartans were confronted with a team that really plays their defense to, to, get, to get the block shots. Ten of them they got in that game. All ten were from two players. First shot by Jeremy King is good. State 25. And the 10 uh, block oh, shots were six Eli and four from uh, Jeffries. And Eli Fresno was good, State. wasn't he? Yeah, very good player. Yeah, he's good. One, shot. One more coming now for Jeremy King. Had a pretty good evening here at the Breslin Center. This one will not go for him. Rebound Anderson. One bounce in the four now to Taylor across the timeline. Quick pass off the Torbert, right wing, in the paint, pulls up, shoots, got it! Nice move by Torbert. 65-46 Spartans. The young pups of Tom is over, starting to take shape. Watkins out front, gets over to Jeremy King. King looking underneath, now to Watkins. Watkins, nice drive down the lane, but the shot won't go for him, rings the rim and falls away. Here comes Marcus Taylor. Taylor, coast to coast, off the glass, won't go for the follow-up slam and dunk by Anaganya. Big Al. Eight points. 67-46, Michigan State. 7.33 to go. IPFW with the basketball. Spartans in their man defense right now. Roll down the paint, left side. Little head fake and trouble kicks it out. Good King, King tries to work to the paint. But before I get a shot off, we got a foul no, called against Michigan State. Foul is called on Allen Anderson. That is his first. That is his 17th foul on the Spartans. Jeez, you want to tell everybody, Gus, what the cheer is for? Oh, Matt's coming in, huh? <laughs> I was doing some writing here. Because Matt Ishbia, the people's cheers. 5'10 senior out of Birmingham, Michigan. First appearance of the year. So you got Ishbia, Torbert, Anderson, Taylor, and Anaganya. 7.22 to go. I don't know if he's been in the game this early in quite a while. No, this early, 7.22. He might get some more minutes here. Uh, he'll be, he'll, he'll give uh, a good account of himself. At the line again is Jeremy King. He just seems like he's been living there lately. 16 points for King. By far his best road game of his career at IPFW. One more coming for the 6'6 junior out of Toledo, Ohio. This one is also good. And we've got ourselves a timeout. 7.22 to go. Spartan 67, IPFW 48. And you're listening to MSU Basketball. Did 
good. Good. You can record his own. I'll take your page back and go in there. I'll take that my court. Michigan State basketball is brought to you in part by the MSU Alumni Association. They sponsor MSU athletic tours, away game tailgates, Sparty, the Izone, and many money saving benefits. Join today. It's greener on our side. Hey, don't forget there's a football game in Spartan Stadium tomorrow. 11 o'clock, Michigan State takes on Missouri to wrap up the regular season. Coach Williams and the staff looking for that six win and some postseason play, hopefully. Broadcast time begins with the Bobby Williams pregame show at 10 o'clock. So join us on the Spartan Network. Have breakfast with us. And then you can have dinner with Gus and I. As the Spartans will take on the winner of the Lamar main game, will go on the air at 7.30 with that game tomorrow night. A busy day for the Spartan Radio Network. 7.22 to go in this one. Spartans have it, seeing a little full court pressure for the first time in this game. And again, he's stuck with the ball. Picks up the dribble, looking for help, finally gets it from Tobort. Now to Matt Ishmia as he drives down the lane, but there is a whistle before Matt can get a shot off. It's going to be against IPFW. 18 foul against the Dons. Foul is against Matt Shepard, his third. Spartans have 14 turnovers in the game so far. They committed nine in the first half, so only five thus far in the half. At the line, Torbert makes a count. Three out of three is the freshman tonight. That was one of the items coaches that was concerned about. He wanted, he wanted to reduce the number of turnovers uh, actually, they only average 17 per game. That's ample enough, but 26, don't forget, came in one game against Syracuse. Down quickly comes IPFW after the second make by Torbert. A three air ball was fired by Weiss, and down comes Michigan State after the rebound. Torbert bounce pass, low post, left side, Anaganje. In the paint, kicks it out to Anderson. Out of Torbert, everybody's working in the middle. Head fake, off the glass, no good. Follow Anderson, nope. Batted high into the air. Ball is loose on the floor, goes Weiss. And somehow he gets it out to Jeremy King. Nice hustle. Boy, Torber can really sky. He gets in there with only 6'3". Among those taller people, just goes up over him. No, down the paint. Tries to pass off the Matt Shepard ball, knocked away. Here comes Taylor. And Taylor is grabbed from behind by Rick Wynn. <laughs> Matt got a field goal there. After the whistle. But it doesn't count. Oh, oh, they'd be hooked by him. For those keeping track, career high for a game for Matt is two points. He's done it five times. Marcus Taylor tried to set up Matt that time on that fast break. Matt was on the left wing, and Marcus deployed uh, to the towards the, the right wing with his dribble and was going to open up some space so he'd get the pass to, to uh, Matt, but uh, he was fouled. Taylor at the line, makes the first one count. Five out of seven in this game is Marcus Taylor from the stripe. Best free throw shooting evening he's had so far this season. And Adonye sits down, and Jason Andreas comes back in. So Andreas got his first bucket of the year from the field. Second shot also good. Marcus now needs just one more assist, and you have that double-double. Seventy. Go ahead. Six minutes to go. 71-46, Spartans. With the ball for IPFW is Woodall. Around right it goes to Jeremy King. King underneath it goes to Jai. Spins. Shot off the glass is good, but they're going to wave it. A foul was called prior to the shot, I do believe. I think they're going to flag Andreas on that one. Well, Mike Kane will be here for our post-game report. First guest will be talking with head coach Tom Izzo. Get some locker room comments from the Spartan players after this. Free throw up and no good that time by Jai. Talk about this there, 47th consecutive home win. Matt Ishby way out on the right side, puts it on the floor. Now working the point for Michigan State. Directing traffic out front. 
Bounce pass, a little give and go to Torbert. Left side of the elbow, now to Taylor at the circle, fires. No, popped out. Rebound. By Jai for IPFW. And down quickly they come. With the ball up front is D'Angelo Woodall. 5.37 to go in this one as Woodall tries a fadeaway tray. No. Rebound Spartans. On the break, Ishbia. Shot is short. Well, we've got a whistle. And Torbert is down, grabbing his leg. Could have been the 10th assist for T Taylor there, but they closed up on Tennessee Matt Ishbia. Didn't get a good shot off. Foul is on Nick Weiss. Former Michigan State player coached at this uh, university IP uh, FW back in the late 70s, Gordy Stauffer. He was a coach at Indiana State at one time. He, Gordy played here in the 50, early 50s when Pete Newell was the coach. Are they in a conference, by the way? No, they are not. They are hoping, Gus, at the end of the year, since they'll be NCAA eligible in another season, they would like to get into the Horizon Conference with Detroit in that group. Yeah, that's a good conference. I was thinking that this, whatever conference they play in, I think this would be a very good basketball team. A little lower level than they're playing against tonight. Well, IPFW, they're not even up, Gus, to their full allotment of 13 scholarships yet, so they'll have 13 for the first time next year. Torbert's first shot is in, second shot is not. Rebound, Andreas, back up and in. Jason Andreas. Second bucket of the game for him, 73-48. Clock running at 5.15 to go, we got a whistle in transition. You know, participating sponsor of Spartan football is Michigan's entertainment capital. Shorty and Resort, Mount Pleasant, an hour north of Lansing. No, Coach is leaving Matt in the ball game. He went in at seven minutes and 22 seconds to go, and he deserves all the playing time he gets in a situation like this because he's worked hard for the three years as a uh, walk-on basketball player and has done a marvelous job on the scouting team emulating the opponent. Ishbi got flagged for the foul. Now in this lineup in there, Taylor's still in there. Ishbia will, will beat a point, and Taylor can move over and get some experience as that two-man. Woodall made the first one. Second one's coming, got them both. So now we're at 73, 50 Michigan State over IPFW. Taylor brings it across the timeline. We're at the 5-12 mark right now here at the President Center. First game with the Coca-Cola Spartan Classic. Up next, Lamar and Maine. Ballinger out front around the horn and goes to Ishbia. Ishbia to Taylor. Taylor going down the right side, nothing there. Into the wing to Andreas, back out to Ballinger, top of the key, now to Ishbia. Shot clock at nine seconds, eight, seven. Matt gives it off the hill for a trade, no good. Rebound comes out to Nick Wise for IPFW. On the fast break, they hand it off nicely. The Henderson for the easy layup. Makes it 73-52, and we have ourselves a 30-second timeout. We'll be right back after this 30-second message. Is it set up? This is really a... This game seems like it's going forever. I don't know why. Four thirty three to go. Seventy three, Michigan State, fifty two, IPFW. Marcus Taylor has the ball for Michigan State. They're going right to left, top the key to Ballinger. Now back to Matt Ishbia. Ishbia setting the attack way out front. Now gives it over to Taylor. Taylor working towards the circle. Picks up the dribble, high post pass goes to Andres to Taylor. It's a tray coming, pops out. Battle for the rebound is won this time by IPFW. Woodall has it. Down the right side of the lane, kicks it back out to Weiss for a train. It's inside, outside, and it's good. 73-55, Spartans. Down to 3.54 to go. 
with the ball, top of the key, Andreas. He had a wide open shot, but tried to work it in closer to Ballinger. Bad idea. Pass intercepted, down comes IPFW. Woodall has it. Now it goes over to Henderson, back out front to win. For Trey, way short, goes out of bounds. And he's to get it back. Well, he almost picked up a cameraman there. We got ourselves a timeout. 3.36 to go. Spartan 73. Indiana Purdue 4 Wayne 55. Right back after this 60 second message. Lead us in. Go, three, go, fight. Got it. Can't get that assist for Marcus. Six to go. Marcus Taylor Gus is having some game. 13 points, nine assists, seven rebounds. Lead all the Sparks there. And only two turnovers, not to mention a block and two steals. Yeah, he's got quite a line, and the only one that isn't uh, attractive is the three for ten in the shooting percentage. That's 30 percent. One of five from three-point area. Six of eight out of the free throw line. But that's quite a line for sophomore Marcus Taylor. One, one assist away from a double-double, and if he gets that, he's three rebounds away from a triple. Well, Charlie Sp Bell and Urban Johnson, the only players that have triple doubles. It's a short list, isn't it? Spartans have it. Ishpia brings it across the timeline for Michigan State. He's tied up over there by Jeremy King. Works it around the horn. Left side of Taylor, back to Ishpia. Has good hands in that. Taylor down the lane. No, kicks out. Right flank, Ballinger. One bounce to Ishpia. Fine ball movement to Hill for a tray from the left wing. Man, that was some nice movement of the basketball. Yeah, they've had all night good bad ball movement. 76-55, Michigan State. The IPFW ball club is not giving up. They keep working it hard. Nick Wise tries a tray. Their leading scorer, he has 11, but that one would not drop for him. The Spartans rebound. Underneath it goes to Andreas. Nice shot off the glass, a little bit hard, though. Shot is no good. A whistle is blown, and we're going to walk the court. Foul is called against Michigan State. Chris Hill picks up his fourth foul. Tenth against Michigan State. It looks like Henderson is going to go to the free throw line for the Dons. First trip in this game. Henderson good for six points so far tonight. Coming in a three out of four free throw shooter. This club does not shoot a lot of free throws historically. Coming in. First shot, by the way, is up and in. Coming into this game, they had attempted less shots than their opponents had made. Well, they don't go to the basket as far as penetrating is concerned. King is the only one that penetrates consistently. And besides that, they don't throw the ball in the pivot man and get any shot opportunities there where, where there are always fouls drawn in that kind of situation. One more for Henderson, got them both. Well, the Spartans once again are going to put four players in double figures, which they've done every home game so far this season. Little full court pressure being applied by the Dons, but no problem for Michigan State Ishbia. Double team though in the backboard dribbling around. Almost looks like the Keystone Cops chasing him. Ball knocked away. With it on the breakaway layup is Woodall. 
The basket goes in. I believe they're going to counter any foul. I give him a, a pro continuation there. Foul looked like it occurred before he took a step to the basket to shoot the layup. I think that's going to do it for Chris Hill, Gus. That's his fifth. Well, he's had quite a line also today. Chris Hill, five of nine, two of five from three point area, 13 points. Wolf, by the way, has 13, so he's had double digits every game this season. Adam Wolf's had six rebounds in this game, along with Allen Anderson, six rebounds, and six rebounds for Aloysius. But the leading rebounder is the guard, Marcus Taylor, with seven all defensive rebounds. You know, that's odd because, you know, he's the, he's, he's the outlet man on the fast break, and, you know, you'd hope that he would be, uh, be getting the outlet pass from some inside defensive rebounder. Free throw was up and good. Barnes beat the press. 76 60. MSU by 16. At home, MSU is averaging 73 and a half a game. Ballinger has the ball. Nice move in the paint. Off the glass and in. Ballinger gets his first points. Anderson gets an assist. 78 60. Barnes by 18. 202 to go. With the ball, King. A little bit short on a 10 foot jumper. Rebound just kind of ricochets out to Anderson. Now Taylor across the timeline in the circle. Kicks out to Bogakis, a jump shot is no good from the left side, but it makes no difference. A foul is called before the shot. The foul, On the road, King, the two road games third. that were completed, the two at, at Madison Square line, Garden in New York, MSU 58 two. in each of those games. First shot from Taylor is good. In games played at the Breslin Center this year, 80 Three. points were scored against Detroit, 67 against Oklahoma, and we're at 79 and counting right now against IPFW with 1.53 to go. One more shot for Taylor. Marcus Fires got it. Spartans have 49 total rebounds in this game. That's a lot. 32 total so far for IPFW. The lead again is a 20 for the Spartans. Henderson has it. Bounce pass over to Noel, deep in the right corner. Barnes in a 2-3 zone. King has it. Now back to Noel. He'll force a trade. This time he gets it. Nice shot by Brad Noel. First points for him in this entire game. And we've got a whistle, and a timeout is being called. A 30 is being called by Coach Tom Izzo. We'll be right back after this 30-second message. It's a burn burner. Hi, Mike. Pause 10 seconds for our network stations to identify themselves. <laughs> Spartans have it. Timbo Gracks in the backcourt over to Matt Ishbia. 121 to go. Ishbia almost got a bucket. Taylor has it. Now to Bograkis. Dribbling around outside. They're going to let this guy's play. There's been a couple of fouls not called. Bograkis, left side of the key. Bounce pass in the paint to Taylor. Back to Anderson. Shot clock at seven seconds. Taylor down the paint. There it Wolf is. About a 10 footer. Nope. Won't go. I thought, Mar I thought Marcus get his 10th uh, assist. I thought he had it too. Wolf doesn't miss money from that spot. Brad Noel has it. Went inside. He is fouled. And Ishbia is giving a little bit of an earful to Alan Anderson. Back committing the foul. Of course, Matt is a senior. Uh, he's, he's, had, he's been in a lot of winning basketball games in his career. Oh, he has. 34 to be exact. Yeah, and he's, he's never played, played in a losing one. Yeah, he has won. One at the end last year? Arizona. Oh, yeah. Coach, don't put me in. You'll break my record. <laughs> First shot up and in that time by Brad Knoll. I tell you what, though, 34-1, I'll take that as a player. 
Soon to be 35 and one. He walks on here. He's been to what? All the Final Four appearances, the national champions, the Big Ten titles. He's got more rings than most jewelry stores have. Yeah, that's right. More than Elizabeth Taylor. I don't know about that one, Gus. <laughs> She's got a lot. Down come the Spartans. We have a whistle and a foul called against IPFW. Stops the clock at 46.9 seconds. In this 80 to 65 basketball game, the Spartans are going to win. The game was tight for the first 10 to 12 minutes. MSU took control of the lead at the halftime break by 11. They've got the lead up to 20 early in the second half, and it sort of stayed around 20 the entire way. At the line again is Marcus Taylor. He's been there a ton tonight. Taylor had only attempted seven free throws through four games. He's now nine for 11 in this game. He's been more active at the strike this evening than he's been all season so far. 81-65, 81 the most points scored this year by MSU. Second shot, no good. Rebound comes out to Henderson. 44 seconds to go. Noel has it, gives it off to Henderson deep in the left wing. Now back to Noel, forces up a tray, got it. That's his second one, he's got six. 81-68 with 34.5 seconds remaining. Right now with the ball, Bo Gracchus gets it off to Taylor. Taylor will pull up the break. We're at 26 seconds now. Let's see if Ishby will even attempt the shot. 23 seconds, Taylor trying to get it across there. They're just playing pitch and catch right now. Spartans may not even shoot the ball. They don't have to. Shot clock is off. It looks to me like us. The Spartans are done offensively for this game. You can write this up in the books. Final score, Michigan State 81. And Indiana Purdue 4 wins 68 in the first ever meeting. We'll be right back with more in a moment as you're listening to MSU Basketball. Paulette, do you have a half-time play-by-play? Hey, Mike. Torbert has a career high tonight. Whatever it is, it's a career high. No, I'm going to be done in a second. Let's give him my headphones. Then you can listen. Will Teeman here courtside with Gus Kanaka. Spartans win it. Final score, 81-68. To advance into the final game, the championship game of the Coca-Cola Spartan Classic. MSU will take on the winner of the Lamar Main game coming up. Broadcast time, 7.30. Tomorrow night, I hope you can join us for that one. Well, guys, before we flip it over to uh, Mike Kamen and wait for your conversation with Coach Tom Izzo, feelings about this game? Well, I think it was a good game for the Spartans overall. They, they were able to get going late in that first half, and from that point on, they were in complete control. And then the rest of the game uh, uh, was a, one of giving players some game experience and working on some things from an offensive standpoint. Well, guys, it was fun. Yes, it was. You gonna go to the football game tomorrow? Oh yeah, football, then basketball tomorrow, two games, another game tonight. A lot of Why go home, we just get a couch, stay here. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> full of a cot. By the way, thanks to Paul and Martis for keeping all the numbers. Steve Gallitz.